Hi and welcome to this recipe video. Today I'm going to be making oeuf mayonnaise, um, which translates as mayonnaise eggs, and it's pretty much what it sounds like. It's boiled eggs uh, with a homemade mayo on top. Um, so why this dish? This is a common bistro dish, a classic um, that I think to a lot of people in France would have kind of a vintage feel to it. Um, in fact, it um, was such a classic um, and was starting to disappear off menus that there's a group called the Association de Sauvegarde de l'œuf Mayonnaise, a whole group dedicated to saving the oeuf mayo. Um, and every year they reward a restaurant in France with the prize for the best oeuf mayo. Um, and just last year, the Rotisserie uh, d'Argent, um, one of Paris's most expensive restaurants, um, won the prize for best. And you can get that oeuf mayo for nine euros um, at the Rotisserie d'Argent. Um, but the previous year's winner was the Bouillon de Pigalle. Um, and their oeuf mayo was two euros. And that's closer to the price I remember when I was a student in Paris back in the 90s. Um, this was one of my favorite dishes because it was one of the cheapest things on most menus. Um, so another reason why I chose the dish is because um, in the first unit in French 201, you're going to be studying the mother sauces. And mayonnaise is one of the mother sauces. So this dish fe features mayonnaise. Um, and uh, the other reason is because I have chickens. Um, I have uh, four chickens. Their names are Lota and Mila Janssen and Chance the Stallion and Steely Dave. Um, and so we have fresh eggs daily. Sometimes I don't know what to do with them. And I thought a dish that features fresh farm eggs would be a really nice one to start uh, you guys off with. So let's go through the recipe step by step. Okay, so we're going to start by making the mayonnaise, and let's talk about the ingredients. You're going to need two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, four tablespoons of vinegar, one teaspoon of salt, two eggs, and six deciliters, or a generous generous two and a half cups of oil. Um, for the vinegar and the oil, um, I use a red wine vinegar, and for oil, I used a 50-50 mix of peanut oil and sunflower seed oil. Um, just keep in mind, you can play around with the oils, but it really will affect the flavor of the final product. Uh, for example, olive oil will make a very strong olive taste and might be kind of overwhelming. So if you use olive oil, I'd recommend um, maybe cutting it with a little bit of sunflower seed or peanut oil to make it taste a little bit more neutral. Um, same with the vinegar. You can use infused vinegars. You can use um, apple cider vinegar. Um, even rice wine vinegar makes a very nice mayonnaise. There are a lot of different options, but they are going to affect the flavor of the final product. So once you have the vinegar, mustard, salt, and eggs together in the container that you're, you're going to use to make the mayonnaise, um, then you're going to want to use a stick blender, an immersion blender, and slowly uh, pour the oil in and uh, run the blender and emulsify it. You'll see it happens very quickly. This can be done with a, a whisk as well. You'll just need, need to be careful to pour the oil in a little bit more slowly. I like to use a one liter glass jar um, that I also use to store the mayonnaise in the fridge. It just works out that way. It's a bit more convenient. Um, and you'll see it emulsifies very nicely. Sometimes you can add, if you notice it gets a little bit too thick, you can add some vinegar at the end to thin it out. Okay, now it's time to boil the eggs. So take however many eggs you want to use and put them in a saucepan and cover them with a, an inch of water over the um, top surface of the eggs. Without covering the pot, bring the water to a boil. And then once it gets to a boil, uh, turn it down to low and uh, simmer it on low for seven minutes. After seven minutes, remove them from the stove and rinse the eggs in cold water using a colander. So once your eggs have cooled down to room temperature, you can either leave them out on the counter for about five to 10 minutes and then peel them and serve them, put the mayonnaise on them and serve them right away. Or you can put the boiled eggs in the fridge 
and pull them out when you're ready to serve. Um, peeling is tricky. Um, you can always try to catch that membrane that's between the albumin and the shell, and that'll help a little bit. There are some tricks you can look up online. Um, also, also, always rinse your eggs with cold water uh, before you're done. And then slice laterally and serve. That is it.